Hello everyone. In this episode, I wanted to show you a quick tip on how to fix render sparkles of something that may not have worked so well. Let me show you the problem here. I have a render that I've made in 1920 by 1080, and it kind of looks okay. It's nothing really special about it, and it went fine. But I made another version of this that had a problem, and the larger version was, it took a lot longer to render, and I don't know how well this comes out if I zoom in. I can see some ugly, nasty render sparkles here. And uh, that's really, the most of the render is fine, so 99% of it is okay. I could go and render it again, but if that has taken me two hours, then I might not want to redo that. So there is a relatively easy way to get rid of this in Photoshop, and I'll show you how. It'll also work in other applications that follow kind of Photoshop's paradigm. I'm going to go and open up my, my render here. Here it is. And what I'll do is I'll go and zoom into the, the difficult bit here, and there may be other bits, so I'll go and uh, go through this with a fine tooth comb here. And I'm going to go and make a duplicate of my layer up here. So I'll just do that by holding onto this and holding down Alt, left clicking and dragging, and that makes me a duplicate. There's other ways to do this, like from a command here under layer, duplicate layer, or you can also right click on any of these layers up here, and then you say duplicate layer from here. So any of these things will work. I'm going to go and make my top layer invisible here and have essentially just the duplicate. I'm going to turn my second layer into a blurred version and then I'm going to punch a hole into the top layer where the blurred version shines through in this area here so that I have the flexibility to undo and redo and refine the whole blur. I'm going to turn this layer here into a smart object. So that is the first thing. I need to right click, but not on the thumbnail, but under this, on this text bit here. And then I'll say convert to smart object. Then it gets the little logo here. And with that now being in place, I can head over to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And that will give me kind of a real-time preview of what my blur is going to look like. I'm only using two pixels here, and it already has kind of the effect that I want. You could increase that maybe to five, and it'll always give you that live preview as soon as you let go. Five will also work. Ten and above will be too strong, but you know, two to five is going to be is going to be just fine. Maybe I will. I'll just use five here for um, for argument's sake. Maybe three. Let's just use three. Fine, three. Hit OK. The, so the good thing about the smart object is that you can, if you change your mind, you can redo that. You just double click on Gaussian Blur and you can just type in a different value. If you don't use smart objects here, then this layer, this effect will be applied to that layer and there's no way to get rid of that really. It's kind of burnt in. It'll destroy that layer. So this remains non-destructive. I'll switch my top layer back on, getting all the sparkles back. And then with the top layer selected, I'm going to go and create a mask. That's with this button down here, that little punch out icon. A mask means there is now essentially a layer in between the two layers, which is the mask layer. And if I paint on it with the color, then I'm punching a hole through this and whatever is on the bottom layer will shine through. So I'll go and use these two icons here, the black and white icons. I'll click that and then press X or just click that little arrow here. So I paint with black. I'll go and grab my Wacom pen. You can do it with a mouse as well, but the Wacom pen is quite nice. You have to select the actual mask here, so not the layer. Make sure the mask has that little outline around it. And then I'll pick my brush icon here. Any brush should do something as big or as large as the situation requires. And then you just go and start painting these things out. So essentially what's happening now, this area with the sparkles, we just now see this bottom bit. And if I were to make my bottom layer invisible, I can see that this is actually what my layer looks like. So there's a hole now in my layer and anything that's underneath it will shine through. In our case, it's the blurred version of my layer, which is nice. If you want to preview what this looked like before you fixed it, you just switch off that Gaussian blur. And this is now the original that you see here. And that's really easy. So it only took us literally 20 seconds to do that. And we didn't have to wait another hour to redo the render. So if you see something else now that didn't quite 
work out and there's other sparkles in the render that needs fixing like here this looks a little grainy here if i wanted to fix that as well make sure you select that mask on the top layer and just go and overpaint that and that, that becomes blurry so it kind of works if there is depth of field in your render anyway and it's just an easy way to to do some fine tuning here without having to worry about it obviously don't do it on the character because he would just all of a sudden be you know um, blurred out so we don't we can't really make changes on the features that we want to keep. So Control Z will undo that. Or just press X to paint with white and essentially eradicate those um, problems. And that is how you do that. I thought I'd show you that. Often these things happen because of a little issue with the render engine, or it could also happen that you just had to render it that bit longer. But you know what it's like if you have something, if you have a render that's kind of 90% there and you want to get that extra little bit of convergence, it can take a long time to make that happen. So I'm kind of happy with that. So there we go. Quick tip for me. I hope this was helpful. Yeah, um, smart objects will make that filter effect non-destructive. So you can change the blur value if you've gone overboard you can just go and uh, make that blurry or less blurry and then just add a mask to the layer make a duplicate and then just you know paint that in i hope this was helpful if you liked this video then please share it with friends family and total strangers and i hope i will see you in the next one take care bye bye <music>